What is going on guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to easily create professional command line applications using the click shell module in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so I already have a video on this channel where I explain how to build a professional command line application using click and what we ended up with there is something like this. We had a Python script, we could run it by saying something like Python three or just Python my script dot py. And then we were able to specify certain keywords that were defined by click. So for example, create dash file and then something and then dash dash options or something like that. So we were able to have this uh, professional command line application, we just had to specify some parameters, some options and stuff like that. Uh, and this was done with click quite easily. And today we're going to use click shell to do something uh, slightly different, we're going to have our application, we're just going to start it like that Python my script py. And then in that application, we're going to be able to enter commands in a shell and those commands will be mapped to functions very, very easily without us having to care about this too much. Um, and this is the more interactive way of using click of using click shell actually in this video. So let's delete this and let's open up the command line and install using pip the click dash shell module. And you can see it's based on click. So it's also installed here. And once we have that we can just say from click underscore shell import shell. And then we can create a simple function, it's going to be an empty function. And the name of this function is the name of our shell. So we can say here, for example, def neural underscore shell. And I'm going to just say pass. So it's going to be an empty function, but we're going to add an annotation to this function, which is going to be the one that we imported, we're going to just say at shell. And then inside of uh, this this call here, we're going to put two parameters, the first one being the prompt. So what we're going to see every time we uh, are prompted for a new command. And for this, I'm going to say here, prompt equals and let's say something like neural dash shell and then white space and this closing angle bracket and another white space to ask for a command. And then we're also going to specify the intro keyword and the intro keyword is basically the welcome text that we see when the shell starts. So I'm going to use here a multi line string. And I'm going to say something like, uh, welcome to the neural shell. And then we can do something like, uh, please enter a command down below. If you want to see a list of all available commands, enter help or something like that. And then we can actually move this up here. So now we have it like that. Um, and this would basically already create the shell. This is this is now the shell object. And whenever we want to add a command like help or something else that we want to do whenever we want to add this to the shell, what we do is we just say, at neural shell in my case dot command. And this is now the annotation that we use to say the following function is a command. So I can say here, def help, and then I can say here print, again, a multi line string, here is a list of all commands. And I'm just going to enter here some very basic commands. Uh, like, for example, help see this list. Actually, let's leave a blank line here. Maybe then want to do something like hello dash world is going to be a command prints a message, then we want to have add maybe add to numbers, then we want to have something like uh, what could we do file, or let's say create file, create new file and write into it, and then exit exit the shell. That would be the help message. And in order to basically run this shell, all we need to do is we need to go down there, or down here, we can do if name equals main. And then we just say neural shell, like this then I can run this and you can see here welcome to the neural shell. Please enter a command down below if you want to see a list of all available commands enter help so I can enter something else now that does not exist. And you can say it says command not found. So this is automatically already implemented. If I enter something that does not exist. Now I have some problems with my Vim plugin. Let me run this again. Uh, if I enter something that does not exist, um, it's going to give me the error message that it doesn't exist. Uh, I can also enter help. 
then it's going to show me the help command. And the interesting thing is also click shell already provides an exit command. So I don't need to implement a function exit, I can just say exit, and then it exits. So this is something that is provided by default. Um, so we have this, we have this, and now let's add these functions here to see how we could do that. It's basically the same process. We just say at neural shell, neural shell, command, def, hello, underscore world. Now underscore world is going to be translated into the command hello dash world. So when I use this, it's going to be that command. And here I can just print now, print hello world. Or I could also just say something like, um, if I want to have some user input, let's say def at, and then I can ask for number one being the float of the input of enter the first <clears throat> number, I can copy that and two enter the second number and then print n one plus n two, for example, then maybe let's add the last function create file. And here we're going to say, uh, file underscore name is going to be input, enter the file name. And we're going to have content, enter the file content. And then we can say with open file name in writing mode, SF, F write content. Quite simple, nothing too special about it. Um, and of course, we need to add this annotation here. So this is how simple this works. So we can just run this now. And I can say here, help show me a list of all commands. Okay, nice. Let's do the hell world command. You can see hello world. Let's do the add command. I want to add 10 to 20. 30 is the result. Um, then we can also say create file, let's say the file name is going to be hello world.txt. I want to enter hello world. There you go. Now it should be. Is it here? Where's the file? Come on. Open in Explorer. Let's see if we have the file. The files actually here. Okay, it's just not displayed in PyCharm. Um, so you can see that works now it's here as well. Um, and we can just exit. So there's nothing too fancy about this module, it doesn't have like a ton of features. But if you just want to have a simple command line application, you don't want to do all the manual error handling, you don't want to always ask for if the input equals to help if the input equals to hello world, if uh, we don't know the input, then do the default case and then restart the loop. You don't have to handle any of that. You also don't have to uh, handle this prompting every time you don't have to handle exit. Um, you can just define commands and work with them. So if you need a simple framework, if you want to call it that or a simple library that allows you to build uh, these shell like command line applications easily, you can use click shell. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.